Hi, I'm Dr. Kitsos, and I'm a pediatrician at United Hospital Center. I'm gonna go over a few ways that parents can poison-proof their bathroom. So first off, you wanna make sure and check that any medication or toxic chemical does have a safety cap on it. Anything that's prescribed by your provider or doctor should have a safety cap, but just double check those. Next off, you wanna make sure and go through any medications and make sure dates are still good. Um, anything expired should be thrown out. Toss those into the toilet, clean out that bottle nice and well, and the bottle will go in the garbage. Next off, you wanna make sure you're only giving medications to the person to whom it's prescribed. One medication may be helpful for one person and harmful to another. Next off, you wanna make sure that all medications are in their original packaging. Many tablets and capsules can look similar. If they're not in the correct package, you cannot be sure what you're taking. Make sure and keep all sprays, cosmetics, fingernail preparations out of reach of children. Last but not least, you wanna make sure and install child safety locks on any drawers or cabinets that have any type of toxic or harmful product. Toothpaste does contain fluoride, which can be dangerous in large amounts. If you do think your child has eaten a large amount of toothpaste, you do wanna contact your local poison control center and they will give you instructions as to what should be done next. Mouthwash can be dangerous. It does contain alcohol, which even in small amounts can be toxic to children. Alcohol can also be found in multiple other household items, such as cleaning supplies, hand sanitizer. So you do wanna make sure and keep all alcohol containing products out of the reach of children. When it comes to poison proofing the laundry room, you do wanna make sure that all bleach, detergents, softeners, Basically, any product that you could be using for cleaning those clothes um, is kept in a safe area that's out of the reach of children. You do especially wanna keep an eye on where you're placing those pods as they can look exactly like candy to children. You do also wanna make sure that any of these products are kept in their original containers. You do also wanna think about places like the bedroom, which can be very dangerous as well. You wanna make sure that you're not keeping any medications on your side tables or dressers, um, as this can be very easily accessed by children. You also wanna make sure that any perfumes or any other cosmetic products, once again, are kept out of the reach of children. I just wanna thank y'all for doing your part in keeping kids safe.